I've had this question come up a lot. There is a phrase that's called date last insured. It's called DLI. People see it on their decisions when they get approved all the time and they get a little confused. I've explained this to, uh, for uh, a few times back, but I'm going to re-explain it again. When you work and you pay into the Social Security system, when, you've earn, when you earn the appropriate number of quarters, it's 20 out of the last 40 quarters or what we call five out of the last 10 years. What you're doing is you're all you're paying not only towards retirement, but you're paying for disability insurance. Insurance is no different from any other context. If you pay for it, as long as something happens that that insurance covers, you'll get benefits based on that coverage. However, you must demonstrate that your disability for that insurance occurs during your coverage period, or you will not be entitled to receive benefits from the insurance for that coverage period. So how does that work in your case? Well, typically I tell people that if you work five out of the last 10 years, that usually it's a pretty safe bet that you've got about a four to five year window of insurance coverage from the point when you stopped working to the point at which you are eligible to get benefits for that period of time, the last date. Now, for that coverage period, you've got a start date and you got a la an end date. So let's say you stopped working in 2013. You've worked for the last 10 years straight. So guess what? I mean, excuse me, 2014. How many years is out from 2014 to 2019? So your end date is going to typically be that last date. So guess what? And it works in quarters. So let's say that your, your period of coverage was, your last coverage period was December 31st, 2013. Then your last coverage period, if you stopped working, would be December 31st, 2018. Now that's under a clean situation. Most people aren't always that clean. There's always breaks in employment. So that means your insurance coverage is going to be adjusted. That last day that I referred to, December 31st, 2018, is what we call your date last insured. It is the last day of your ins disability insurance coverage that you can demonstrate that you're eligible to receive benefits during that window. Now, I know that sounds goofy. Let me just say it once more. Make some, make some sense. That is the last day that you are eligible to receive benefits on your disability insurance if you can demonstrate you were disabled at any point in time before that date. So let's take it even further. Let's say your date last insured was December 31st, 2013. We're in 2014 and you apply today. So now you're freaking out. No, 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 no. Don't freak. Don't freak. Ask yourself this question. When did your disability occur? Well, my disability occurred December 29th. I was in a car accident on December 29th. When? 2013. You're fine. Why? Because your last day of insurance was December 31st. You were within that window. Now let's, a harder one. Let's say you your insurance was December 31st, 2013, but you were in a car accident on January 1st. I mean, you went partying with your friends, and unfortunately, you weren't smart. You didn't have a designated driver. You decided to drive home right after the ball dropped, and at 12 05 a.m. on January 1st, 1st 19, excuse me, 2014, exactly five minutes after your insurance coverage expired. You were in an auto accident. You were completely incapacitated and you apply for disability benefits. Can you get it on your earnings? No. Why? Because your date last insured took you all the way up to December 31st. 11:59 p.m. So guess what? The moment you crossed into 2014, your insurance expires. 
The insurance has no relation to your application. It refers to when you were disabled, when you're alleging you were disabled. So the bulk of this discussion today really is to tell you this. If you stop working and you believe you stopped working because of your disability, don't wait. Go ahead and apply. Now, I've seen people try to relate it back. I've, I've had it happen a few times before. Meaning, you know, their, you know, their insurance, let's say they stopped working. Let's say they stopped working in 2008. And then they kept trying to work, kept trying to work, kept trying to work. And then finally, six years later, they said, you know what, I'm applying for disability benefits. And then they tried to take it all of that way back to 2008. You can do that. You can, in terms of being found disabled. And, you know, the benefits, and we've talked about this before, you can't get any benefits more than up to a year before the date of your application. But for purposes, in this instance, you're fine because if they found you disabled in 2008, that's before 2013, you're square. But one, I, one of the things I tell people all the time is two things. If you stopped working, find out when your insurance coverage expires. And then also find out, find out when your insurance is expired. And the other thing is, apply sooner than later. There are people out there who try to test the job market because they just don't believe that they're disabled. They want to try. My heart goes out to you. But the moment you start to realize that you're having problems, and this is when you need to talk to your doctors. This is when you need to talk to a representative. If you need to go ahead and apply, go ahead and do it because you don't want to wait too long and find yourself in a funky situation. As long as you can demonstrate your disability began before your insurance, you're fine. But the other reason why I stress this is that sometimes what happens is at the time when you stopped working, you still had insurance or you had a lot of medical treatment and you had a lot of things going on that was to your benefit. And then you let long periods of lapse go. You stop getting medical treatment. You lose insurance. You don't have any documentation to support your condition. You had a lot when you first had it, but because you didn't think you were disabled back then, you ignored it. Now you've got these gaps of medical treatment. So there's no way to know if your condition has improved with medical treatment. You've created a little bit more of a mess than you really wanted to. And now you're trying to apply. And now you have a much harder burden to prove that you're disabled than you did before. This is one of those times where I tell people, contact a representative if you don't know. But give serious thought. After you've stopped working, if it's because of a medical condition, if you believe by some reason that you cannot work anymore, make sure you check your insurance status, and I probably would encourage you to apply sooner than later.